Okay, folks, so if we've already told them all about um, what makes for a net zero building or a climate ready building. We told them about the envelope. Now we can get into the HVAC. So we've got, uh, in this case, an air source heat pump. You can tell them about a geothermal system, but basically an air source heat pump is an air conditioner that can run in both directions, cooling your house in the summer and heating your house in the winter. You really don't want to go any deeper with that because that will confuse the heck out of people. Unless they're like really seemingly technically savvy, that's probably enough for them, right? We don't want to, again, overwhelm. So in this particular case, this is our air source heat pump. It's going to be warm while we're here. And so we can actually go here and we can hit mode and it says cool 21 and heat 19. But I, I, I could turn that up if I want or down. I can put the cool, it only kicks in at 24, or it'll kick in if we're at 20, right? And then you can hit, uh, if we've got this mode going on here, we can hit on, off, and then go to mode, and go into cool, and we should have our fan kick in, and I'm hoping it will. There we go. And if I feel up here, I can feel the air conditioning now starting to blow. I, I really should have taped something on there. Maybe I'll do that later, okay? So you might have to play with this a little bit to get it to work, but that's okay. Now, over here, we've got our HRV. Now, technically, you could turn that on if you really want, but I think the key thing is to just communicate, if you've got a really tight home, you want to get ventilation and bring fresh air in, but you don't want to lose all the heat you've got in the winter, right? And so this core right here is a heat exchanger that allows as cold air comes in from the environment, warm air from your house is going opposite direction across some of these plastic plates, and as the cold air is coming in, it's picking up the heat from the house, and as the house air goes out, the stale air goes out, it's losing heat, and as the, the fresh air comes in, it's gaining heat, and that is an energy efficiency method. I've got the core pulled out just a little bit. We don't want to be taking it in and out all the time, but if you've got it out a little bit, you can show people along the edge here and they can see what that exchanger looks like. And then down here, we've got our uh, hot drain water recovery. And so you can describe that to them too. If this is your kitchen pipe coming down or your, your bathtub coming down, and maybe even you've got all of your plumbing stacks right above each other going down one stack, then you can have your cold water coming in, wraps around and picks that heat up as your water's flowing out and then goes to the hot water tank and, and recovers some of that heat.